Hey friends, foes, and subbies. This video is dedicated to the culture vulture, aka agent of chaos, that decided to attempt to expose me for being a POS and that I am not. I will never turn against anybody that supports people that I don't support. That's just really childish. Uh, but if I see that you're fake, I'll kick you to the curb. It's just natural. You smile in my face, but you talk that crap. We both know you're fake. I should whoop that ass, but you already know that it's time to go. Get away from me. Since she's so desperate for the views, I'll leave the link below. The video is entitled Dirty Diane. A culture vulture, by definition, is someone from another community that comes into the black community trying to fit in to our own style of culture and persona only for the benefit of economic gain. A culture vulture is somebody from another community outside of the black community that tries to blend in amongst black culture, but it's only for the sake of economic gain. It's not because of they're so enamored with black people, they love being black and they wish that they could just copy the swag of black Americans. Culture vultures are people that come from other communities that see large economic opportunities in the things that we do, being the trendsetters of the world, and they make businesses behind these things, and they are only interacting with you because you are the commodity that they are selling in their personal business. Before you start running with the, sweet ma's racist, sweet ma's racist, no, I'm not racist, I'm a realist, and I'm calling it like I see it, period. What is the problem? Seeing as how you said this yourself, excuse my confusion over why you seem to be so upset over my support of certain people. You ended our friendship and came out of your alleged retirement to speak against something you're apparently for? Wait a minute. Make that make sense, Miss Not-So-Sweet Ma. Let me make it make sense for you, honey. I confronted you because I felt like you were being fake. Yes, I did. Now, initially, when I confronted you, I was very polite in telling you that I thought you was fake. I didn't cuss, nothing. I kept it real. Here's what I wrote. I gotta be real with you. I'm seeing you commenting on all the mess, and it really makes you look like you're playing both sides. I usually don't care who supports who on YouTube, but come on now. You are cool with all the people that did such terrible things. I'm sorry, but I just can't ignore that. This is why I stay away. Too much fake energy on here. It's really sad because I thought you were different. You don't have to front for me anymore. Be cool with who you choose. I just don't want to be a part of it because I can't trust that I can say anything to you without being set up. You respond back to me, oh, I'm so hurt that you feel this way, blah, say, blah. And I said, I just feel like you're being a little messy. I see you in this, you know, unknown DJ's uh, lives and comments and stuff. And I'm just like, I'm not upset that you talking to her, but it just makes absolutely no sense to me that the same unknown DJ that committed a crime against my enemy, excuse me, my friend of me, you're cool with both of them. So it's like, make that make sense. <laughs> Listen to her. She sound real confident making this video. <laughs> Just to refresh everyone's memory on the old shit she's still stuck on. I supported Diane heavily. And the nerve of this bitch to use a picture of my son in her fuck shit video talking crap about me. Girl, you gonna learn today. After the whole Crystal Nicole and her falling out. 
the whole thing that happened with the GoFundMe, I was right there going at it with Crystal Nicole, Lucretia, DJ Ashley, anybody that came at Diane. I was right fucking there. Oh, is that right? So you was here to defend me and my son? Fuck out of here. Let's be real. You wanted a reason to make a video. You needed something to talk about. And at the moment, that was the drama that was hot. So you jumped on it. Nobody asked you to come out and involve yourself into this situation because whenever I go through something, I don't know if you notice, I always handle it on my own. I never ask anybody to back me up whenever I'm going through something. If anybody chooses to, I am so grateful, forever grateful, especially when it's coming from the heart and it's legit and it's not because you want attention like you. And then, yes, when the leak, the leak you shit happened, I talked mad shit about leak you. But guess what? It was because I was pissed at what she did. I also told leak you every fucking thing I said about her. There's nothing I didn't tell her. Nothing. Nothing? Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? <laughs> did you tell her? That you thought that she was crazy? Did you tell her that you thought that she was weird and that you were uncomfortable that she was letting the world know that you guys were best friends? Did you tell her that your husband thought that she was creepy and didn't want you talking to her anymore? Did you tell her that you were going back and forth giving me and my group information about what she was saying? How can I forget the times that you would record her Instagram lives since, you know, all of us in the group had her blocked except for you? You would send us videos making fun of her and saying how miserable she looked and she looked high as a motherfucker. Ooh, what kind of friend are you, girl? If you're a friend, I don't want to. Did you tell her that you recently wrote me in my inbox? And told me, mind you, I didn't even bring her up. You chose to bring her up. You said, you know, I'm still speaking to, and you gave her government name. Only because I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of what she'll do to me. I'm afraid she'll dox me. That's what you said. But guess what? I don't have the proof. Because you decided to go back into the DMs when you made that video trying to expose me and you deleted every single one of the messages that you were talking shit about your bestie. Yeah, you deleted your voice notes. You deleted it all. And just in case if you don't believe me. My question is, why did you delete those DMs if you had nothing to hide? And if she knew every single thing that you said about her, why would you go and delete every single one of them damn DMs where you were talking shit about your bestie? <laughs> Screen record for proof because I know this bitch is probably going to find a way to lie and say that I deleted her voice recordings to make this video and her messages where she was talking crap about her friend and other things that she said that she removed. Just letting you guys see before I block the I I literally only kept her here so that I could get the rest of the information that I needed. I just want you to see that she deleted every single voice note, everything. Now I'm about to block the bitch. So when this new situation happened with Crystal, no Crystal Nicole and this video being leaked, I voiced my opinion regarding the situation because I was beyond disgusted. Beyond. And then on top of that, the anonymous person had been threatening me myself behind the scenes and publicly. So I felt like I had every right to voice how I felt. I felt like them exposing that video was malicious and done in a very disgusting manner.
Hey guys, just to fill you in, if you didn't know all the drama that was going on. So you remember that old friend that I had that came out and tried to expose me for being a liar and a scammer when it came down to the GoFundMe that I had for my son? Well, anyways, she befriended my enemy and her and my enemy had some sort of sexual contact that was recorded on video. This video ended up on YouTube. Karma? I don't know. Anyway, it ends up on YouTube. I don't say a peep. I'm just watching from afar. And the only reason I found out was because I was watching my girl, Lady Snoop. She don't know she my girl, but I be watching in the cut, supporting, liking. You don't got to like me, boo, but I like you. So I'm watching Lady Snoop and she's reporting on this situation. And I'm like, oh, did she just say... Did she just say, oh, so I ain't seen no tape. So I didn't know nothing about it. And guess who hits me up in the inbox? Frantically, we need to talk. Can you give me your number? I got to talk to you. This culture vulture hitting me up talking about we need to talk. So in the message, she tells me, hey, I got some message from some anonymous person telling me that they have this S sex tape on, you know, your old friend. And they want me to expose it and whatnot. And I'm thinking to myself, let's, let's, please, please come down in the comments and help me make this make sense. Why would Anonymous that has a sex tape on my old friend that backstabbed me and tried to make me out to be a scammer and a liar? Why would they contact you, Vulture, is the question. Why would they contact you? Oh, to get back at my old friend for embarrassing you when she went live. I don't think her embarrassing you was as bad as what she did to me, but I didn't get no message from nobody trying to give me a sex tape to leak out and talk about. Nobody hit me up. And it's quite funny that the only other person that is known that was hit up about it is somebody that you're cool with now. You two were the only people that were contacted about this leaked tape. That was out on this unknown DJ and my old friend that just wants to ruin my situation and my life on YouTube trying to make me look like such a terrible person. It just didn't add up to me that you were contacted and threatened to release this information on said person. Why not reach out to me, the person that was really hurt by this girl? She really fucking crossed me. So why wouldn't somebody reach out to me for me to release that video? Make that make sense, please. This is where Diane begins to get upset with me. When the anonymous person dropped the video, I left a comment. Then I made a video response towards the anonymous person. Girl, I ain't even see that video. <laughs> if you made one, I didn't see it. After that, Crystal Nicole made a video and dropped it on Lucretia's channel. I also made a comment there, as well as that from the 13th of September to the 18th where all of this happened. By the 19th, Diane was in my inbox highly upset with me. This dummy over here trying to expose me, if you guys actually like watch her video, pause the messages and read them as she talks over them because she's trying to distract you. I came to her politely, basically telling her that I felt a little uncomfortable because I felt it was awkward that she was supporting the person that released the sex tape. Well, it wasn't really a sex tape. Whatever. The X-rated tape. You're supporting the person that released it to some dead lady that's off in Venus somewhere. And it just gets exposed or whatever. Like, first of all, that DJ girl should have never shared that personal tape with anybody period point damn blank but you're supporting her and you're supporting the victim all in the same time it just didn't make sense to me and i told you that he didn't like that number one i was still a mod for leak you number two that i showed support for a situation that i felt was beyond fucked up and wrong you i came to you woman to woman telling you how I felt. I started off nice, but then 
you started talking shit about me. She's on tour telling everybody that I'm mad about these comments about her supporting a victim, right? But trust me, she's trying to spin the narrative. It was way deeper than that. I have issues with her being fake. That's the problem. Not because she was supporting a victim. It's still hard for me to understand how you say right is right, wrong is wrong, but you still fuck with that lady. I gotta be honest. That's hypocrisy for real. If she could fake death threats just for attention and to defame innocent people, how is that okay with you? It's funny how you're trying to do this video to expose me when, all in all, you're supporting somebody that lied, made a fake troll page, sent her own self death threats, and accused innocent people of sending them to her. All for clout. So if you're supporting right, how the hell are you supporting that? You don't expose someone's private info like that. I'm going to stand up for what I believe in. That's who I am. What you are is a fake ass flip flopper, culture vulture, jumping from one beef to the next, befriending whoever's hot at the time, whatever drama is going on. You just want attention on YouTube. You want a reason to make a video. That's what you are. You ain't real to nobody but your own. And that I was being cordial to people who she claimed were her enemies. Meaning Crystal Nicole and Lucretia. You're lying. I was actually referring to that delayed DJ and your BFF. You know, the crazy lady that made fake death threats on her life off of her fake page and accused innocent people of sending them to her just so she could get some attention on YouTube, some sympathy and maybe some payola. All I did was leave a damn comment, which they both responded to, and they were hella funny, so I responded back. I'm a grown-ass woman. I don't have any beef with either one of them to not be cordial, at least regarding the situation, especially since I was dragged into it. She felt like she couldn't trust me to not go back and repeat shit she said because apparently we are now all best friends and all of a sudden this has happened all because of a comment. You want to believe your lies so much that you just keep repeating that over and over again. That I was so upset about you leaving a supportive comment towards somebody I don't like, which is not the truth. First of all, I was even being supportive towards that person that I'm no longer friends with when I was DMing you. I wasn't upset with her, <laughs> which is the funniest part. When you're trying to expose me on this, you're not showing the fact that I felt uncomfortable that you were talking to her pet, you know, whatever that. I don't know her name. Grimace? Whatever. Anyway, that's who I felt weird about you talking to because I saw that y'all was friendly. I never even knew that you were talking to my old friend that tried to expose me as being a liar and a scammer and whatever. I wasn't even mad about that. I didn't even know that you guys were communicating. I didn't see those comments because I don't be on YouTube like that, snooping. If I come across something, I come across it. I was contemplating on whether or not I should release this video because it was just way too much. There's so much drama going on on YouTube. I was getting migraines and nobody was bothering me. But I got a message today and I see you guys still got my name in your mouth. What is up with the obsession with me? Because I haven't said one peep. I see all the subliminals, all the subliminals. But guess what? After this text message, I hop on Instagram and the first post I see, there's two sides to every story and then there's my screenshots. Facts. Bitch, how you like mine? Don't say that I didn't warn you. Don't say that I didn't tell you to keep my name out your dirty ass mouth. You chose to put this upon yourself. So eat that up. Now let's get into this chat. I can remember this vulture telling me that she does not rock with this unknown DJ, okay? And this was during our argument, so that's very recent, right? And she's in every single last one of her chats, and she's always probably like the first person in there. <laughs> but there was a conversation going on between her and some chick that for some reason hates me. 
I never did anything to her. She's constantly disrespecting me in all of her videos, gives me some props, but then disses me at the same time. I always come to her respectfully, but yet she continues to hate on me. To be honest, I could care less. Y'all stick together. You know, the same chick that was making fun of your weight, calling you all types of porky pigs and shit. Now you just really, really sucking her ass. Hmm. Well, I can see clearly the only reason why you're kissing ass to all the people that was against you is because you're afraid of them. You rather have a group of people behind you. But me, I rather get rid of trash. And I did. Story time. Vulture comes into the chat and says, hey. Random lady says, Vulture, you know you being watch girl. What are you doing in here? <laughs> An unknown DJ replies, pull up, Vulture. Get it off your chest. The Vulture replies, girl. Unknown woman says, run, girl, run. Vulture replies, that's what they want me to do. Run. Not shit to get mad at some comments. She has her one lap dog. <laughs> Random lady replies. That was by far the pettiest shit ever. Vulture says. Thank you. Ever. Like if you don't know me by now. I speak my mind. LOL. Random lady replies. I like you because you handled things with me like a woman. So she really lost out. Oh well. Rolling up the eyes. Bitch, I'm rolling my eyes at you too. <laughs> Stupid. Vulture replies. Thank you, random lady. That means so much to me. I like you also. Smooches. Kiss ass. If I feel some type of way, I'm going to be woman enough to come to you? And tell you but what did you do you decided that you were gonna go to somebody that i don't fuck with and tell them what i said to you in the inbox in our personal messages where i told you i felt uncomfortable that you were talking to the op but talking to me about the op while the op was going through whatever the, they was going through so it's like how are you being supportive towards them talking ish about them to me in the inbox and going back to support them it makes you look fake Period. And that's what I told you. Why? Because I'm real. So basically, she's calling me a hypocrite and we're no longer friends. Because I did cherish our friendship, I was upset. So I called my friend Lee Q. I'm sorry, I got to bring this up again. Your friend, your friend, right? The same friend that you were saying that you felt uncomfortable about being public about being friends with because you were so disgusted by her and her actions the same friend that you told me that you were threatened by because you were afraid that she was gonna dox you but you went back into your dms and deleted those messages where you told me you were only being friends with her because you were afraid of her and your dumbass if you go back to the beginning of your video there's a part in my message where i say you shouldn't have to be fake to befriend somebody that you feel like go back to the messages she's so stupid that's why i told you that you made a mistake by making that video on me because yes you did delete the messages where you were talking shit about your friend but you showed the messages where i was saying so just because you're afraid of her you still being her friend whatever y'all gotta go back and read the crap i don't feel like doing it but y'all go back it's in her video. If you want to pause the messages, you'll understand. And I told Leek what had just happened. That's all. I didn't drag Diane. I didn't talk shit about Diane. It was only what was said concerning me. This is how she feels about me. So Leek got upset because she supports me and she wants to defend me. So she made a community post regarding the situation, just not saying Diane's name. I didn't know she was going to do that, but I was okay with it because she was telling the truth. So I'm going to have to assume Diane saw this post just recently, even though it was made some time ago. And she once again got upset and messaged me again. Has anybody ever told you assuming is making an ass out of you and me, bitch? Mm. Well, if you haven't heard it, you made the fucking wrong assumption, bitch. I did not know that your friend 
<laughs> was talking about me because I don't follow your friend. I don't look what she posts. I, she's just weird and I don't like that energy. So I, I stay away from her. I didn't know anything about your friend. I actually found that out from somebody else. So clearly you didn't just talk about me to your friend. You didn't just go to your friend and vent about me. You was venting about me to other mother us okay and it came back to me fake ass so after this whole situation is unfolding and these messages are coming in and i'm reading them you guys you guys get ready for the manipulation she's about to play victim for you right now and they're getting worse and worse diane starts to now tell me that i am sucking the pussies of these women not one time did any of my comments have anything to do with you, Diane. Not one time did any of my comments talk bad about you. Did they say anything negative about you? Or were they even geared towards you? My comments were in support of someone who is truly a victim in this situation. That is not wrong, y'all. This is the most petty beef I've ever heard of. This lady hates me because I left comments in support of someone she dislikes. All you can say is, I supported someone you didn't like. That's it. Never have I spoke to these people privately. Never have I been their buddies or their friends. All I did was leave a public comment saying that what was being done to these people, Crystal Nicole, was wrong. And guess what? Even though I don't fuck with the bitch, I still felt that she was wronged as well. So don't play it off as if I was in the inbox talking shit about her. Don't do that. Now in these comments, Diane, you tell me to suck your bloody puss. Diane, you also tell me to eat your shit. So she tells you that I attack her by saying these terrible things. Suck my, eat my, yes, I said that. But you want to know why I said that, guys? Because I started off being really respectful, but real with her at the same time, letting her know she was fake without cussing her ass out. Until she brought the law up. She bought the law up. Once you bring up the law, bitch, you gonna eat my shit. And it all started, Diane, because we were defending you that is why everyone got into it with crystal nicole because everybody was coming to your defense you see how she's playing this shit she says that i'm spinning a narrative if y'all go under my comment section under my last video she's saying that i'm playing victim i'm spinning a narrative or whatnot and this is exactly what she's doing you know this is what people like that do they deflect they showing you who they really are by accusing you of who they really are, basically. I never asked Nan one of nobody that made a video to defend me to make a video to defend me. If you choose to make a video to defend me, that's on you. When I made videos to defend whoever I made videos to defend, I dealt with the heat on my own. I got doxxed. I got attacked. I got harassed. And I ate that shit up all by my lonesome. And guess what? I became stronger and stronger every single attack that came through i was eating it bitch eating it on my own and what were you doing getting views for talking about what i was going through you didn't go through what i was going through so don't you dare blame me for you beefing with anybody else that you chose to insert your ass into this beef for there are numerous people who support you and still support Crystal Nicole. Are you going to go after them as well? No, you said, because I'm fake. But Diane, you and Leah were behind the scenes, as you see in these messages, already talking about me. Nobody was talking behind your back, bitch. I told you exactly what happened. Leah felt like you were a snake, a fraud, because you were going back to your friend, getting information from her and bringing it back to us. So she is like, if she would do that to her friend, why wouldn't she do it to us? So she politely removed herself from the chat. And you were so worried, like, is Leah upset with me? Oh my God, is she mad? Blah, 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 blah. And I was trying to talk to her and say, why'd you remove yourself? And she told me, and basically, I was befriending you 
and letting you know there's no problem because I didn't want you to be sad. I said, there's no problem. She just decided to get out of the chat. Every time she spoke of you in that way, it was mainly just to warn me to be careful to stay away from you. But I just kept telling her, no, I love her. She's so sweet. She wouldn't harm anybody. That's what I told her. Nobody was talking shit about you. She warned me about you. And that was that. As far as the recordings, Diane, I did say I recorded you because you said first, thank God I have receipts in reference to the fact that I was talking bad about these women. I was. So were you. So was everybody else. It was public. If it was so public, why is it that you deleted the DMs that you sent me recently about your best friend? Why'd you delete them messages? Is the question. Please let me know down below. You're sitting there pretty much threatening me and telling me what you're gonna do and you're gonna TKO me all because I left a comment under somebody's post that you do not like. No, bitch. I told you I was going to TKO your ass because you threatened the law on me, bitch. You threatened the law. Now, y'all guys got to understand this. I said this in my last video. She said to me, she recorded all of our conversations. Mind you, it was a group chat. So you basically snaked the rest of the group that was in the chat where you was talking shit on anyway. So that right there made me see that you was the biggest snake that I've ever come across. After that, you telling me that you recorded me, that's when I started going off and calling you all types of names in the book because I had every right to. I was being really respectful to you up until that. Like I felt like you were fake because I seen you being a spokesperson for a victim, as you claim, under the accused just to make this clear these comments are in defense of the victim to people that are in the chat while she is supporting the accused please help me to understand how the fuck that makes sense if that ain't playing both sides please please tell me what the fuck that's called because the accused did release that video to somebody that she shouldn't have released it to so she is guilty. So the person that did the crime is making a video addressing the situation. The victim comes under the freaking chat and you're supporting the victim like, oh, you're speaking up for her as if you're her lawyer. That shit was mad weird to me, period. So no, I wasn't mad because you were supporting that person because prior to that, I never mentioned her. I just said that you were fake. I only mentioned it after because I was like, yo, I need to screenshot this shit. This is unbelievable. She was literally just talking shit about this girl. And now she's like, she will no longer speak on this behalf. But like, it was just like weird. Like, you're weird. So everybody, you need to understand if you support Diane, you can't support people she doesn't like. Because literally, this is over comments I left. I don't support people if they support people that I don't like, bitch, you know you a whole fucking lie because this is what you said to me. But I do have a question. You are friends with other people who are cool with them. So why does it make me fake for not being friends or cool with them and simply just commenting and go back and forth? She ends it off with, remember this, you are an amazing woman. Yes, bitch, I'm amazing and I'm real as fuck get like me how many times did you hear her how many times did you hear her say this is over comments that she left this has nothing to do with that this has to do with her being fake and she just keeps using the same excuse that i was upset that she was supporting someone who's a victim that's the only way that she could feel like she could get people against me is to make me look that demonic make me look that fucked up as to where i would not have empathy for somebody that was going through something even though i don't fuck with you i felt bad for you the fuck and you over here sitting here trying to make me look like i'm mad because you were supporting somebody i'm mad because you're fake and you're in my inbox and you're talking to me telling me you love my son and you're it's just weird yo i don't know how many times i gotta say this i'm not, I'm not trying to get extra loud 
I came on here to clear my name. I know it took me a while, but let me tell you something. This don't take no time for me to respond to. I'm literally playing what she said and I'm responding to it. I wanted to take my weekend and enjoy my weekend stress-free. I wanted to paint. I wanted to cuddle with my son. I didn't want to think about her, but guess what the she was doing? This lady, Culture Vulture, was sitting here on Instagram trying to taunt me this entire week after she made that video. Her balls was real swole. Oh, oh, they was swole, bitch, about the bust. Why? Because she over here making subliminal posts, playing songs, talking about I'm fake and all this type of stuff. No, bitch, you're the one who's fake. I was real enough to come to you in the inbox and tell you I thought you were being fake. How real can you get? I could have easily just dumped you the second I saw you were being fake and never talked to you again. But I chose to come to you. So how fake am I? For real. For real. Listen, I'm just... Li <laughs> God. I'm just... What, I just want to warn you guys, be careful who you befriend on here. There's a, and I'm not mentioning that other lady's name because she really is legit crazy. She's over here trying to uh, make up stories and say that I said that somebody else told me to make videos on their behalf and whatnot. And it's just, come on, man. Why would anybody believe you? Out of all people is a question. And no, I will never say your name. You weirdo. You said that because of me, I ruined your life. You've been doxxed. You've been this and this and that. If anybody believes that this bitch has been doxxed by anybody, y'all stupid as fuck. I'm sorry to say. But if you guys did not see those two videos that Camille's Corner made to expose the truth, y'all need to go watch it now. Anybody that will come on and believe this person that made such a serious claim that somebody was threatening a life threatening a life but the entire time it was her making those threats to herself make that make sense and even if you do come out with anything to try to make me look bad let me tell you something i don't lie if i say something i will admit it there ain't nothing that i'm afraid of but god try me when I spoke to Leaky, I only talked to her about what you said to me, Diane, about me. That is my right because you said things about me. So I vented about what she, what Diane is saying about me. There's nothing wrong with that. And I told you I did it. I'm not fake. I told you I did it. No, you are fake. <laughs> I told you you did it. <laughs> you had no choice but to admit it. I just want to say, Diane, I honestly wish you the best. And I don't want anyone to stop supporting her just because of this video. I don't want anyone to be mad at her. I just want the truth to be out there. That's all. And Diane, I want you to answer one question for me. One, besides those comments, what did I ever do to make you mad at me? Besides me commenting, what did I ever do that would make you mad at me? Nobody would have ever known who this culture vulture was until this culture vulture decided to all up and through my comment section and reveal the fact that she is the vulture. You wanted that attention that bad. You wanted a reason to go back and forth with me and make a video to expose me. So the video where I made being very extra careful without letting anybody know that it was you. You decided to come on and admit that it was you. And then you make the video trying to expose me. It's funny that you did that, but at the same time, you were accusing me of being so desperate to come back to YouTube that I made a beef with you? Out of all people, you? I made a beef with you because I was so desperate to come back to YouTube, bitch. Be for real. Be for real. Teddy P said so. Be for real. I could come back on YouTube and just be picking my nose and eating the boogers and I'm going to get views. I didn't need to come on here to have a beef with you or anybody else. If somebody chooses to watch me, they're going to watch me. The views are not going to be the same because the drama is not there, right? And I'm okay with that. I prefer to have people be there for me 
because they actually like me and not because I'm going around YouTube hopping from channel to channel, beef to beef, just trying to just fit in. I don't do that. I watch from the bushes, honey. I watch from the bushes. I support. Like, I know many people are wondering, why didn't I say something when she came out with the video? The reason why is because I needed my peace. I literally was having anxiety attacks just listening to the lies. And I thought to myself, yeah, I should have never came back on YouTube. But one thing I will not do is allow somebody to make lies on me and get away with it. It's just not going to happen. You could believe whoever you want. I honestly don't care at this point. I just wanted to come on here to give you my side of the story and to show you some sort of proof to just prove that I ain't the one. Since my old friend wanted to chime in. And to the old friend that I thought I had that made two videos to defame me make me out to be a liar and a scammer when it came down to the GoFundMe that I had for my son's leg braces. You made that video all for what? You kept harassing me after the GoFundMe, asking me question after question after question, which wasn't normal. And I told you I felt uncomfortable. And I even told you it was making me emotional that you were questioning me as if I was being interrogated by the police. Now, every answer I gave you wasn't good enough. Even when you made a mistake and thought that I put down a down payment and I told you, no, I never did. Like you reading way too much into this. You still kept interrogating me and your little, I don't know, pet kept doing the same thing. So I felt like I was being attacked. All right. So even after that, I still showed you support. I still shouted you out on my channel. Until I decided to come on live because I was sick and tired of people accusing me of being a scammer. So I came out on live and I showed an actual bill. I had two bills and I showed the cost and the cost of the deductible, which at the time I was still confused about. The deductible was $2,888. The cost of the braces was $2,086. And right under highlighted, it said that the cost was subject to change. And yes, I kept bringing that up. And this so-called friend of mine felt some type of way she felt like i was manipulating you guys into believing that the cost would change well guess the fuck what it did okay it did okay all right this right here is a message that i sent to the vulture basically trying to explain to her why i felt like these people were attacking me and accusing me of trying to gain money off of my son like this is straight bs but i needed a friend to talk to and i thought at the time that she was somebody that i could go to but yes these are all the messages that i received from my friends questioning me about the gofundme and that shit like i said before ain't normal and she even said for herself that she felt like this was an interrogation this is not what friends do. I wanted to make that clear to you that I was being harassed by this person about the cost of my son's braces. If I paid half, if I did this and that. And I felt like it wasn't normal for a friend to be asking that many questions when my own family didn't ask that many questions. It was very odd, but... She felt the need to make two videos to make me seem to be a liar when, in fact, I was just confused on the cost and the deductible because I barely go to the doctor. I don't need to use my insurance because I don't get sick. End of story. I just thought that I should let you know that I was right, that the cost was subject to change, and it did. The end. Try me now, you'll get plowed, can't you see, right in those teeth. It's time to go, you weak ass ho. You won't win, right in hell, oh bitch, please, you're beneath me. Why don't you go? If there's one thing I know, it's that you're weak ass ho. That's all, folks.